I haven't done an Arduino for kids video in quite a while. And even if you're not a kid or a kid at heart, this is an easy project that you can put together. It's going to be an Arduino Magic 8-Ball. So there are going to be three parts, well, four, four parts in hardware for our project. We're going to start out with the simplest, well, actually this is probably the most complex. What am I talking about? And that's the 16x2 LCD screen. So to set it up, let's zoom in here. What we need to do is hook up some of these pins here. And they are not hard at all. Let's start with the pin labeled RS, and that's going to go to Arduino pin 12. And then is E, the enable pin, that's going to go to pin 11 on the Arduino. Then we're going to come over to the data pins. Now there are eight data pins, we're only going to use four. So starting at D4, that's going to go to Arduino pin 5. D5 is going to go to Arduino pin 4, D6 Arduino pin 3, D2 is going to go to, I'm sorry, D7 goes to Arduino pin 2. Over here we have A and K, anode and cathode, A is going to go to your VCC, and K is going to go to ground. Now there are a couple more pins we have to be careful with here. Up here at the beginning we have VSS and VDD. VSS is ground, VDD is positive, don't mix them up, you'll be sorry. Next we have V0, and that's our contrast pin for the LCD. So you need to wire that up to a 10K pot, which is what I've done here. One side of the pot goes to VCC, uh, one side goes to ground, and the wiper goes to V0. And we have one more that, uh, where is it at? Now I'm drawing a blank. Goes to ground. Do, 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 why can't I see it? Here it is. It is the RW pin, which goes to ground. So that's your hookup. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate a random number which will call one of, I don't know, let's say six responses. How are we going to do it? Well, we're going to do it with a switch. So we could set up our switch with a regular push button, also known as a tack switch. Push the button and it'll select its random number. But I think in order to keep in the spirit of the Magic 8 Ball, we'll use something else. How about what's called a tilt sensor or a mercury switch? Have you ever used one of these? They're pretty neat. Let's take a look at it. So inside of this is a little blob of mercury. And if I roll it down, hopefully you guys can see right here is a contact and then here is another contact. So right now the switch is open, but if we move it into another position, the switch is now closed. Let's uh, put this on a multimeter so that you can see how it works. The multimeter I'm using is the Anang 8009, which is just an awesome little meter that costs about $25. I did a review on it and my good friends at Banggood are sponsoring a giveaway for one of these meters. I'm going to put a link down below. You can go and watch that video and sign up to win. If you are somewhere on the face of the earth that Banggood delivers to, you're eligible for the contest. Okay, so here we have the meters hooked up to the signal pin and the ground pin. Right now the little blob is at that far end so the switch is open, we roll it, the switch is closed. Open, closed. Pretty simple, right? Let's put it in our board. So all we have to do is find a couple empty spots and plug her in just like that. 
Now you can see the switch is closed at this point. We want it to be open, so we're just going to adjust the position there. Now if we just give it a little shake, you can see how it will activate the switch. So we're going to take the signal wire and we will run that to pin, oh let's say pin number eight, nice digital pin. And then we're going to need another wire to go to ground. I think we'll just use a jumper for that. This little piece of wire. And that's going to go in between ground and our minus symbol there on the thing. So now, if we give it a shake, it'll activate. But one thing we need to do when we write the code is use an internal pull up so that the switch is not what's called floating. That means it doesn't know what state it's in. It doesn't know if it's high or if it's low, and it could just wiggly waggle in between them. So we're going to pull it high so it knows that it's in the open state and then when we activate it it will go low so all we need to do now is go and write some code join me over at the computer okay the code for this is actually pretty simple but before we get started in that I get a lot of comments about using Bandicam for my screen capture software and folks telling me to use OBS I tried OBS, but it doesn't work on my ancient Toshiba Satellite L505 laptop. And I'm far too cheap to buy a new computer as long as this one still works. So we're sticking with Bandicam until this dies. Anyway, on to the code. And like I said, it's really simple. First thing we're going to need to do is include the Liquid Crystal library. And then we'll set it up. Now, remember those pins we went over before? Here they are. That's all there is to setting up the liquid crystal, liquid crystal library. Next, we're going to create a Boolean variable. Boolean means it can be 1 or 0, true or false, on off. It's a Boolean. It's, it's binary, 1 or 0. And we're going to call it my switch. And we're going to set it as true. Then we're going to come down here to our setup. We'll tell the Arduino the size of the LCD, 16 column, 2 line. And then we're going to tell the Arduino about our switch. Pin mode 8, it's an input, and we want to use the Arduino's internal pull-up. Next, we come down here to our function, but we're going to skip that for right now. And let's come down to the loop. Here's our loop. We start off by saying my switch equals a digital read of pin 8. It's a digital read so it can only be 1 or 0. And then we say if my switch equals 0, then we're going to call the function do it. Meaning if the switch is activated, we call function do it. If the switch is not activated, we just sit there rolling around in that loop. So here's the function do it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to seed the random number generator by doing an analog read of analog pin 0. Since there's nothing attached to analog pin 0, it could be anything. That's why we're using it to seed the random number generator. Next, we're going to create an integer variable called rand number, and it will be equal to a random generation from 0 to 5. Then we're going to put our cursor in the upper left. We're going to clear the screen. We're going to put our cursor back where it was. And then we're going to do a switch case, which is just basically an easier method of, of doing a bunch of if statements. We're going to switch on our variable random number, which we created right here. And there are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different cases 
so that gives us a total of six cases and these are just our random answers yes no maybe ask me later answer unclear just order pizza does the Pope shit in the woods I don't know you put in there whatever you want that's it man that's how simple it is really easy code and there will be a link to the code in pastebin down below all right we saw how to set up and do the wiring we saw how to write the code the code's been uploaded into the Arduino and the only thing left to do is the demonstration so let's power it up and what do we get well we get nothing because we didn't activate that little switch okay oh great Arduino magic eight ball Will the Stillers go to the Super Bowl this year? Ask me later. Come on. Guys got to know this stuff. Okay. Oh, great Arduino Magic 8-Ball. Will the Pirates beat the Mets today? You know what, Magic 8-Ball? You suck. Magic 8-Ball, do you ever give a clear and direct answer? Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Magic 8-Ball, did the guys enjoy this video? No. Are you sure? Ah. Well, if you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. A big thanks to all the patrons. And a big thanks to you. Yeah, you, right there, for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Should I dismantle you, Magic 8-Ball? Yeah, that's what I figured.